Alrighty guys, so we are heading out of the inlet right now. It doesn't look super rough, but we definitely have some good swells in here. So let's go ahead and navigate our way out. Let's go. Got an exit in the right area. on the pick so we got the anchor down we're gonna go ahead and get our chum bag out and then we're gonna start getting some live baits out and just see what we can make happen today it's looking good so far looking good alrighty guys we just had to re-anchor come back to our spot here we got a nice Mackie on I believe Woo! it's been a slow morning I thought I'd get him earlier but it's all good we got him now Took a nice screaming run here. There we go. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there. He's running up my anchor line. Want to keep him away from that. Woo! Stay on there, buddy. Didn't even have a second to get ready. Stay on there, buddy. Nice, nice little, what is that? It's a little cereal. Ah. Perfect! Yes! Guys, that is all I wanted. I promise you all I wanted today was just one mackerel on the reef. We got it done. I'm so happy. That's all I wanted, man. And there you have it, guys. First macro of the day. Beautiful cereal macro here. These taste delicious whether you want to cook them, eat them raw, whatever you want to do with them. This is a great eating fish. Super happy to catch this one. We're going to go ahead and try to get another one. Beautiful fish there. go don't know what this is it's pulling nice come up here on the wire felt like it was nibbling at it I don't know that it's a mackerel but it could be you never know It's a little mutton snapper on the wire. There we go, guys. I knew it wasn't a mackerel just the way it was fighting. Got a juvenile mutton snapper here. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. Alrighty, guys. So we started off the morning losing two mackerels right away. Our anchor started slipping. Then we weren't catching anything for a good while. And then we ended up catching a nice cereal mackerel. I'm super happy about that. I really only wanted to catch one of those fish because I'm never in shallow, never on the reef. So I was like, I just want to go to the reef today and successfully catch a mackerel. So we got that done. So I'm happy. After that, we caught a mutton snapper. 
now I just cannot help but head out a little deeper. It's rough out here, but it's not too bad. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead, head offshore. We're gonna go to a wreck, and I think that'll be my last stop for the day. We'll go to a wreck, drop a couple baits down to the bottom, and if that doesn't work out, whoo! And if that doesn't work out, then we'll maybe do one or two drifts on the edge and just try to find some fish. Alrighty guys, we just got out our first live bait. Now we're gonna come and drift over our spot. Oh. So we're just gonna go ahead and send this little guy down to the bottom. I don't know who's texting me, but they're gonna have to wait. There we go. There we go. Got him on. Oh, come up here. Oh. Come on. Mutton? Oh, please be legal. Mutton snapper, baby. Unfortunately, this fish is not legal, so we can't keep him. He's a couple inches short. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. Alrighty, guys, so, so far at this spot, we've done three drifts. One on the jig, the second drop, we put down a live bait. We caught a short mutton. The third drop, we got another bite, but he didn't stay on there. Now we're here on our fourth drop, and I really want a legal mutton, so we're gonna keep fishing this spot. It seems like they're not on the wreck. They're just everywhere around it, because everywhere I'm getting bit, there's nothing around. So we're gonna see what happens here. There we go, getting bit. There we go. There we go. Got him on. Come on, baby. Please be a legal mutton. Got him coming up here. Feels like a nice fish. This might be him, guys. Oof. Come up here, baby. Oh. Almost there. Woo. Come on, baby. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's a jack. I should have expected that. Oh, that jack just got away. I really don't care. Oh my God, if that was a mutton, it was gonna be a nice one. Oh. Alrighty guys, I am done dropping baits on the wreck. I'm gonna go ahead and get out a couple more baits on the surface. We're gonna continue drifting in shore. Once we get down to about 100 foot of water, we're gonna go ahead and call it there. It has been a day. <laughs> a fun day, a fun day for sure, but I'm ready to go home at this point. We're in 200 feet of water now. Once we get to 100 foot, we'll call it there. So let's see if we can catch something in the meanwhile. And if we don't, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Alrighty guys, we are home. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean up this beautiful cereal mackerel. Definitely a nice one. So first things first, just like any other fish, we're gonna come right here behind the head. Once we do that, we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna start outlining our fish all the way 
way down. Not running our knife too deep into the fillet. Just making a nice outline so we can come back and fully remove the fillet. As you guys can see, it's windy right now. The weather has been absolutely brutal for pretty much the last couple months of 2023 and the start of 2024. So now that we got through the tail here, we're just gonna push through just like that. Then we're gonna start, take our knife, we're gonna start running it back up. And what we're doing here is just coming to remove that fillet. Now that we did that, we're just gonna start lifting up. This macro has beautiful meat. Let's keep taking our time. Nice and slowly, once we get over the backbone here, we're gonna come down. And just, this guy's a little soft, but we're knocking off all the meat perfectly. And just like that. And there you have it, beautiful filet of cereal mackerel there. And as you guys can see, there's pretty much no meat left on there. The filet is a little soft, but these mackerels are just real soft fish. Alrighty, so we're just gonna run our knife alongside these pin bones. So just gonna feel for them. We're gonna stop about right there. And we're gonna come on the other side and do the same exact thing. So now we have the pin bones all separated from the actual filet. I'm just gonna cut those out. Just like that. So those are the pin bones there. You do not want to eat those. That's why we take them out. All right, guys, so here we have it. Our cereal mackerel is all filleted out. Beautiful fillet there. Not much meat left at all. And then we have our actual fillet here. Still got the skin intact. We're gonna keep it like that for now. And we got our pin bones removed. Now I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All righty, guys, we are finally in the kitchen. We're gonna go ahead and cut up this cereal mackerel. We're gonna make some fish tacos today. So, start we're just gonna cut about this much and with mackerel you don't want to push down too hard or you'll cut through the skin so just take your time and we're just gonna knock the meat right off of the skin yeah skin papa so there you have it we're gonna have little pieces like this going in our taco and that little bit of blood there, that's just from our gaff shot. Nothing to worry about. So we're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna do that for the rest of this filet. All right, guys, so we're just gonna continue cutting this away from the skin, just like that. Then we have a tiny bit of bloodline here. We're just gonna come in here and trim that out. You do not wanna eat that stuff. Well, you can eat it, but this is what carries that fishy taste. So I like to avoid it. The next step, we're gonna come in here with some eggs and we are going to get them into our bowl. My gosh, these mosquitoes are so brave, just coming right on me and biting me. Get away, get away. Jesus, look at them, man. There we go, got one. Sorry guys, brief intermission to defend myself from a freaking angry mob of mosquitoes. They're so bad. Alrighty, egg number two. Gonna get that in there. There we go. Now, we're gonna whip up our eggs. Just like that. So the main ingredient is going to be our panko breadcrumbs. Probably don't need this much, but I think that'll be fine. Maybe a little more. 
So then our next step is gonna be some Port Royal fish seasoning. Gonna add this in here. No, 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 fish fry. So this is some fish fry seasoning we're adding in here. And we just want more flavor than what the panko crumbs give us. Seasoned panko breadcrumbs. So gonna mix that up together. Add a bit more in there. Alrighty, last but not least, Zatarain's fish fry. This stuff is real good and gives the fish a nice texture once it's fried. So I like to add that in there. I'm just gonna mix all of that up. This is gonna be a delicious breading for our fish. Let's get that all mixed together. Guys, have to kill like three mus. There you go. There goes another one, guys. There goes another one. Two for two today on mosquitoes. Gosh, man. Sprinkle that in there. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So we have our breadcrumbs here and we have our egg wash here. We're just gonna go ahead and get literally <laughs> freaking mosquito <laughs> alrighty guys so we are just going to fully coat our fish in that egg there then we're gonna let all the excess drip off just like that then from there we're going to go into our breadcrumbs then we're just gonna get that fully covered up just like that now that we got this one all seasoned, we're gonna go back in our egg. Let's flip it once. Double breading it makes it thicker. Yeah, it's, double breading it is gonna make it a little thicker, give it a thicker coating of breadcrumbs. Now we're going to let the excess drain off. And then we're going to go back into our breadcrumbs, just like that. A lot of people, they actually put it in flour first. Before the breadcrumbs. Yeah, they put it in flour, then eggs, and then the breadcrumbs. But we're doing a little different today. Here we have it, our double breaded piece of cereal mackerel there. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this down there until we're ready to get it in the fryer. And now we're just gonna complete this process once we are done. I'll see you once we get in these in here. Alrighty guys, as you can hear our oil is going, now it's time to get some of our fish in there. First piece going in. Second piece going in. That looks good. Now we're going to add one more piece for now. We're just gonna let those cook. Once they're done cooking, they'll usually float to the top or you'll know they're done if they're golden brown. Then we're gonna get them on our heating rack. Then it'll be time to eat. So these are all done. We're gonna go ahead and get them out. We'll put that one there. Put that one there. And we have ourselves some beautiful fried fish. We're gonna come in some spinach tortillas. Gonna take a piece of fish here, break that in there, just like that. Alrighty, next we're gonna come in with some shredded lettuce. Whoop, about that much. Then we're gonna come in with some cheese here. about that much. Last step, a bit of mild salsa here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that on there. Now, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to close this thing. It's all good. Let's rip off that excess there. And there you have it, beautiful cereal mackerel taco. Let's try it.
good. We're gonna let Zevin taste it. Chew it, Papa. Chew it. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Ugh. Alrighty guys, that is a wrap for today's video. If you hung out with me, thank you so much. If you wanna see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Alrighty guys, Zevin wants to say hi. Hi! <laughs>